Oh look, a guitar video. How novel. Good morning and good afternoon and good evening to wherever you people are. Um, yeah, so I haven't kicked out a video in a while. I don't know when this is going to be. I mean, I've got videos which have backlogged, some have been filmed, some have been partially edited, not even uploaded. It's a mess. So, okay, let's just start on this one. So as you can see, two guitars in front of us. Yeah, one, two, that's about right. Uh, you might have seen this one from a Vader vlog. This is the Casio MG510 that I bought uh, for not very much money. I think it was only like 78. Uh, and I'll get to what's wrong with it, but you can probably see what's wrong with it. And this is another one I've bought recently, but why have I bought this? So basically when I bought this thing, it was extremely cheap. Uh, from like a music shop in Manchester. Uh, problem with it is some idiot thought it was a good idea to pull all of the electronics out and put them in an external box. Can't really understand why you would do that because you've still got the issue of the guitar you know having to be tethered to something so uh, you know it doesn't really add anything to it. This guitar is a more recent purchase uh, and this one some idiot has basically stripped the body badly hacked in a bridge. I'll have to show you this. This is pretty terrible. It's not even on straight. Uh, they've faffed around with this as well and for some reason they've put... Oh, that sounds expensive. It doesn't really matter. An Ibanez neck on it. Let me look at the state of that. Well, we're going to fix this and you can probably guess what we're going to do. I'll just heap that back on the bed. We're going to take both of these and smush them together into one guitar that hopefully will be as original as possible. Um, but I think there's going to be a bit of work to do. We have to first you know, dismantle this as much as possible. Um, but we just need, we'll need to look at another reason why I bought this as well. So the problem with this one and the reason why I've got this one is uh, when they did the whole conversion, they for some reason decided, ah, we don't need battery covers, we don't need the rest of these plates, you know, we'll just leave them off. And they weren't anywhere else in the packaging that I got from the place. Nowhere to be found. So they're lost forever. Also, when we do the work to it, we're going to have a massive hole where some, again, I'll just call him an idiot, has drilled the hole and then put this Centronics connector in there to mount to his external box. So that's no good. And to this one, this has the opposite problems. Uh, the other one doesn't have any knobs on the front. I haven't just removed those. They are also missing. This one, though, albeit a bit more scratched than mine, we can work on that. It has all the background plates, no weird drilled holes or anything, presumably all the electronics, and the battery cover. So all we're going to do is we're going to scoop as much of that into this. There's also, between the two, an assortment of screws that this doesn't have and a bit of things that this doesn't have. Once the, once this sort of exchange of bits and pieces has finished, that's going back on eBay. It can be somebody else's problem. I don't really care. Because I just want to make this one live again. I'm pretty sure we can. Something to note, though, about these pickups that I seem to find. Um, you see these? These look to be original. Uh, they're quite flat, quite square and you can't see any visible pole pieces. These ones, they almost look like they've been sucked, like a lozenge. You can see sort of imprints of pole pieces in there. And they're a lot softer, as well as missing a screw. I don't know how that is. Maybe these have been replaced. And maybe someone has tried to jam covers over some pretty standard looking guitar pickups and has melted them with a heat gun to make them fit. I, I don't know. But I think what I'll be doing is I'll be taking this out and putting it in there. Uh, oh, also this pickup's been held in by bolts where it really shouldn't be. So the goal right now is not necessarily to maybe finish this one off because we can't. It's going to be a two-parter. It's going to take all the bits in this one, make as much of a guitar out of that one as possible, and then get rid of this. And then a subsequent part, this is going to be looked at, upgraded, whatever. And we're going to uh, do that. But until then, time to take these apart. Okay, th this section looks like it's pretty much attached here. I, I admire the guy's optimism, but why did you do this? Please, just... Okay, anyway, it goes underneath, so... It looks like we're going to have to... Well, I'm going to have to get under there. But I'm going to have to pull this... Oh, it came off anyway. Okay, I'm going to have to pull that off. Uh, I've just got to flip this over, hang on. So that was easier than... I thought that wasn't really held on with anything. That was just wedged in there. 
So that can just get lost. Okay, so it does use um, some kind of grounding thing. I thought it might, but I've got to take the rest of this off. Okay. Well, this job just suddenly became more difficult. I don't know how I'm supposed to get any of these wires off without actually cutting something. I mean, ideally, I'd be, I'd be just leaving the electronics in there. And then, you know, just pulling it out. <laughs> Giggity. That's interesting. The divider pick up, pick, pick, pick up. The pickup goes straight to MIDI. Really, all that is. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hang fire on this one. Open up the other. Just see exactly what's in there. If it's exactly the same, then this is gonna require a lot more work. I decided to get direct with the uh, strings. I just, you know, chop them off. It's quicker. I had to end up taking the neck off this one in order to get the pickup out. Um, but just looking at the back as well, I mean, that looks completely different to this. So I think they have been replaced or something. I mean, they, they don't look right. Anyway, this is a lot simpler inside. I don't know, is, the, is that... Are they, multi, are they stacked pots? What's on that powdery guff on the inside? Is that mould? Could be wood. Looks like I'm going to have to basically take everything off the back plate the battery plate um this in order to get this out goodness knows how this is attached on the inside well i just i'm just going to continue ew that's disgusting i think that's 1980s dust right there it is encouraging though because um save for like a oh hang on a little cable tie there isn't much Oh, well, actually there is. There is stuff holding this on. Um, okay. I may be able to disconnect this. I don't know. If I have to cut any wires, I'll be sad. Because there's a lot here to cut. Ugh. It looks like it might be a little bit easier. Because this is all electronics that I saw uh, in the other box. So there's something that I already just have disconnected. That's going to go all the way through to the... Um, pick guard there and the controls. You can see the other control board down there. More than likely there's another ribbon cable oh yes there is, going under there. Yeah so that, that should mean that we can actually take the board out, release the cable and the gap through there does look big enough. Uh, but I've got to release the front panel of that so yes it basically means I've got to pull it all through but should be doable. Oh boy that's pretty much everything dismantled. I had to get into this really far. Um, I just ended up cutting this stuff out because it's all wrong. And it would have to be rewired anyway. Yeah, everything's ready to take over now. Just about. One mass of wires liberated from a pick guard. Now we've got the other one to go. There it is. Okay, that's done. There's the other one. Right, ready for the next bit. Well, I jumped ahead a little bit. Um, as you can see, everything's on. The pick guard is fully changed. Uh, pickups are in. I may have flipped these. I won't probably know till I actually get this working electronically. But for the moment, there's actually wires which have been cut off inside. So this will have to be fixed. But for now, all of the parts that can go on are on. The pickup with the proper connector is in. Right, so that's the pickup that was in there. It is cleaner, but we can always clean that up. But that's what's on the end. So I had to swap them over. Still missing a saddle, got the plate in, got all the knobs on. Not very well secure, but as I say, we're coming back to that later. Uh, let's turn it over. So all the plates are on, we've got the battery cover. The battery connector's inside as well, I looped it through. The ports are in, notice no big gaping hole, giggity. Uh, the back plate is on. Oh, also, a little, a little tiny thing, the strap buttons that were on the other one are now on this. Uh, no strings, of course, I just took them off. Hang on a second, there we go. So it's um, it's looking a lot better now. I've just got the other one to sort of put back together. I've decided on the other one, and I'll reveal this in a few seconds. Um, well, actually, give us a few seconds. I'll just put it on the bed. So with the other one actually um, finished, I've got all this mess to put back together. I'm thinking basically because of the nature of you know this being modified so badly. I mean that's. The way they've hooked this up, I mean, not to go too far into it, 
everything's connected like directly to the MIDI port and, and to whatever. I mean, the guy probably thought this out. What he didn't think out was how much he was damaging essentially a special a special guitar. I mean, it's not like these are plentiful or anything. So yeah, that's just too bad. All of this crap's just going to go back on this guitar, and then I'll just get the box and take all the electronics out of that and put it back in here. All right, so this is the original one. Uh, this one came with the black guitar, the one that had all this pulled out. As you notice, it's got a massive, gigantic crack in there. It's been held together with all the wrong screws. It's got some other stuff going on. That's pretty much it, so we've got to get inside there. Okay, so we're in. And... Yeah, so pretty much just before I've disconnected these. That's the other half of that, actually. That would link back up with the socket on the outside. It's just a matter, really, of pulling this all out. I think all the um, original screws are being used. Can't be sure, however. So, okay. Okay, so this is all reassembled. The other one, it's got the cracked uh, one that I had. The knob on this one was actually in better condition, so I got transferred to the new one. Um, these pickups are definitely not original. They cannot be because well, not only do they look wrong, but also uh, they don't fit in the pick guard. I'm trying to put them in this older one, they just don't fit. The middle one had a little help with some sandpaper. The others went in with a bit of persuasion. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. All the crappy bits, well, comparatively crappy are in here. Um, that's done. And there's all the wiring. I also managed to take out the uh, plugs and things for that. The other end for that is in there. I mean, you could put this back together, and I might do that, which sort of begs the question, why didn't I just fix the other one? I still would have had to transfer things over anyway, so that's fine. That's all back together. The one thing I haven't put back in is the main board, and that's because if the other one is defective, well, this one can go in. It almost looks like as well on these capacitors like they have been replaced, and that's a common thing with these guitars. The capacitors just die, so... This is going to be kept out until I have a chance to repair it, so it's not quite going on eBay yet. But I think, for the moment, we're pretty much done here. So, as for part one, uh, we'll leave it here for now. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a nice evening. Seriously, guys, don't mess around with special guitars like this, or you're a douche, basically.